Why are you crying? <laughs> I know it's Emeka again. It's not Emeka. I don't know what's wrong with me. My body is paining me. My breast is heavy. Your breast? I missed my period. I don't understand. You missed your period. How? No, Where? Yeah, why? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but wait. Did you take the drugs I gave you? I took them, I took them, I took them. Then how come you're pregnant? Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, listen, don't worry, okay? I have to go and see my friend who is a pharmacist. Why? Probably this evening. Oh, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Oh, oh, okay, listen, I was headed to somewhere before, but I have to go see the pharmacist then no. I'll surely get back to you, okay? But I'm scared. <laughs> Stop crying, babe. <laughs> What is still holding these children? Emeka! Papa! Uh -huh. oh, 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 what are you doing inside? Papa, is it not to do, ma? Is it not to do? Uh -huh. She's still sleeping inside. Sleeping by 10 or after 10 a.m. in the morning. Please go and wake her up. Sleeping by this time of the day. Didn't you sleep in the night? She's following us to the farm. 
can't you see your little sister is sick? Ah, ah. Yeah, Ujo, you are becoming too lazy in this household. You are becoming too lazy, oh. My friend, carry this in, let's go. so long. I'm sorry, I took much of your time, okay? I'm sorry, baby. So they left something on the fire. Uh, I'm so sorry, I had to get this. You see, it's a pregnancy test kit, okay? Just call me very early tomorrow morning and I'll tell you how to use it. At least with this, we can actually confirm if you are truly pregnant or not. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and don't tell anybody until we are sure about this. Yes. Yeah, I need very well. Uh, uh, please, always stay away from that your brother, Emeka. That boy is too sensitive for my liking. Oh. Alright, I have to rush back now, okay? Uh, my baby. Don't forget that I love you, okay? So you left a whole pot of soup on fire and went out, eh, Uju? I went to collect something from your friend. You went for how long? Me no, I'm sorry. Huh. I'm sorry. So what are we going to eat now? Exactly my point, Papa. Because I plan on consuming two rafts of apple. Oh, so better tomorrow. I'm sorry. So Uju, you are strange these days. I hope you're fine. Indeed. You act strange and always afraid. I'm fine. Are you sure? I'm fine. Well, um, go and boil some cocoa yam for us to eat. So I'm actually pregnant. Yes, the result is positive. So what do we do about it? Of course, the only option is to get rid of it. I'm not serious. How can I kill an innocent child? Listen, you must abort this baby. Else, you stay clear from me. I am not ready to be called a father now. You think I'm the one ready to be called a mother? Would you, that is even the more reason why you have to get rid of the baby. Chidbem, let me make something very, very clear to you here. I made the mistake of getting pregnant out of wedlock. And I will not make the mistake of killing an innocent child. For God's sake, it's a sin against God and humanity. Sin against God, sin against humanity, blah, blah, blah. Would you listen? If you don't abort this baby, I will deny you <laughs> and this thing you're carrying in here. Okay? You're not serious. He doesn't though. end at all. You're not serious. Clothes. You're not serious. I'm not serious, right? Dubem. <laughs> Dubem. Dubem. No, come on, scold me. Hold my cloth. Dubem, you give me your. You're not serious, though. Oh, Emeka. Give this to my brother, oh. Okay. This is rest of you. Eh? Tell him that I specially prepared this for him. Okay, Auntie. Um, I sent for you. Not you. Where did you come? Auntie, it's Papa that forced me because to do my of the having little sickness. Strange sickness, Kwa. Yes, yeah, so either she complains of headache or weakness. Anyway, it's okay. Uh, no problem. I will come and see you for tomorrow. I would have come today, but our prayer group are having meeting today. Hmm? Okay. You know I don't joke with the things of the world. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, 
Je ne sais pas si something in there. Yeah. My clothes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, Papa? Right, but it's normal. Um, okay, you see. Uh, okay, you people are eating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, bring, right, bring, bring, bring. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Sit at home, or you go out and mix the food. <laughs> what do you do? Well, Papa, I walk around the clock, so I do not know what is happening at my time. Okay. Mm -hmm. eh? No one well, now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't you know. Not, not again. Hmm? Not again. Yeah. What is going on, Papa? For some time now, your sister has been. Behaving strange eh? with this funny sickness of heart. What's going on? What's going on? Papa, has she gone to the hospital? Okay. No. Well, um, she will go to the hospital for proper checkup. Ha! 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 What is wrong with you? It's just a little signal, but I'll be fine. Little signals? Uh, well, no problem. Uh, you will go to hospital tomorrow for proper checkup. But uh, I said I'll be fine. It's not necessary. I'll be fine. I insist. You were vomiting and you said it's a little sickness. You will go. You will go. First thing tomorrow morning, my sister will take you to the hospital so that the doctors will decide whether you are sick or not. Okay, you say you just walk around the clock. Mm. You, don't, there's no, you don't have any way of... You know, uh -uh. I am a manager in a hotel, so <laughs> okay. we walk both day and uh, night. night.
So I was actually right. So I'm actually right. Don't kill her. 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 All we need to do is ask her who is responsible for the pregnancy. Yeah. The worst has happened to my daughter. It's all your fault, too. Oh. Yes. I could vividly remember when your wife died. I wanted her to come stay with me. What did you say? You know, that she reminds you of your late wife, Ifugia. But she didn't mess up under my roof. So she got pregnant under whose roof? Eh? Under whose roof? Auntie! Auntie! Papa! This is no time for arguments. All we need to do right now is to think of what next to do. And not this! Where is that stupid girl? Since that morning she ran out of this house, she has never returned. But I have asked a Emeka to go look for her. She better be fine wherever she is though. I pray so. That is if she had not followed the man that got her pregnant. What is wrong with you? You talk too much. Yes, because I'm alive and well. Yes. If you had listened to me, this thing wouldn't have happened. Auntie! But that's besides the point. That is the point we are talking about. If she had, if you had listened to me, this thing wouldn't have happened. Nanya, the question is, what do we do? Ask him. Ask your father. Please, Uju, come home now. People will kill your pet. Nobody is killing you. Since morning you ran out of the house. You've not eaten. Are you not tired? At least come home and eat, please. Hello? Hello? Would you? Oh. Why is she crying? Oh, we've discussed on what to do now, and today is not even Saturday. Like I will stop taking your call soon. Mm.
Problem. I'm, I'm, I'm asking you. No, don't worry, don't worry. Hey, Mecca. Hey. To the beam. To the beam, come back, they are gone. The beam. Come back, they are gone. I said they are gone now, be, 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 be fast. They are gone. Tears will not change what happened. Better clean your tears and find something doing for yourself. My friends are not like me. The villagers will mock me. Mm. So you didn't know it would be like that. When you opened your legs for that stupid village boy called uh, uh, Chidubim. Devil's handbook. It has always been the devil. When you know you could have actually said no. It has always been the devil when you knew you enjoyed it. Would you? Would you? Hi! You disappointed me. I'm very sorry. Your mother will be so ashamed of you in her grave. Sorry. Sorry, come to give her. Hi. Hi. I'm not cooking. I thought I sent you here to come help me cook. Uh, as only warmer. Continue talking. 
Papa never said that to. I left him because Aunt Esther came in. That was why I called you here. Because it will be a very big embarrassment to my friends if they find out that my daughter is pregnant outside wedlock. Well, that is a very good idea. But have you spoken to Ken Alucho? No. I wanted to tell you first. You know, you've been like a mother to them since my wife died. And he came listens to you more than he does to me. I, would, I think I will speak to you. Where is she? In the kitchen. Don't ever anti me. Uju is here, cooking and pounding at the same time, in her condition. And you're here pressing phone. Am I the one that got her pregnant? Let you put your phone down. Uju, your father wants you. What? But you're going to go to the Go, Bipa! What? See me also. You don't mind your job. You give me a question. I'm going to go to the house. See you and I will get you Just take care of yourself, eh? Listen, it's just a simple thing. I asked her to abort the baby and she refused. You what? You asked her to abort the baby? Why would you do a thing like that? Why? Uh, listen, stop making it look like it's one big thing. She's not the first to do it and will certainly not be the last. Children, this is wickedness. This is wickedness. It's people like you that spoil this war. But God forbid that I support such evil. Izuna, I don't solicit for your support. I keep the baby in support of myself. Get that. This is getting serious. I thought you were joking, but you are beginning to sound serious. Chibim, have you forgotten that you're the one that is raging that girl? You took that, that girl's virginity. What has come over you? <laughs> Tudibem, I can swear for that girl that you are the only man she knows. I can swear for that. Listen, that is not the point here. The point here is that I asked her to do a simple thing. Just to abort the baby and she refused. 
That is the point here and not all these things that you're saying. So, abortion is now simple. Of course, yes. To abort a baby is what you call simple. Oh, yes. Chidiben, I can see that something has blocked your ear. Now, you don't take advice anymore. But may I remind you one thing? That her brothers will haunt you for the rest of your life. Hmm? I am sure of that. Haunt me? Oh, yes. Wait, let me get this clear. <clears throat> Isn't that take a good look at me? Do I look like I'm scared? Do I look like someone who is scared? Listen, I am ever ready for them. Always ready. No problem. I've heard you. I'm not going to go to the house. I'm not going to go to the house. I'm not going to go to the house. I'm not going to go to the But when it will start, don't come calling me because I'm, I will not be there. Is the name Moroccan Sikwadu? I will not be there. Moroccan Sikwadu. about me hey what do I do now well that is the road to my house why your father and I have decided that she will follow you to the city and stay there till she puts to bed. I will be coming to see her from time to time from Ogechi's house where I will be doing my omogo. Okay, auntie. Um, I have no problem with that. And you, Jungwa, don't go there and start disturbing him with your last one character. Remember that you will soon become a mother. And if there's any changes you notice in your body, don't hesitate to call me. You know, go. Any changes you do not understand, call me. Mm -hmm. um, yes, my son. She has said it all. When do you intend to go back to the city? It's tomorrow morning, Baba. Okay. That's nice. Would you? You have to go and get ready. Okay, Papa. Thank you, Papa. One last thing. And let me say it before my sister here. Since you've refused to marry any of the girls I recommended to you from this village, make sure that next time you're coming back here, it is either you come back with your wife or the girl you intend to marry. If not, don't come. Brother, yeah. Oh, who knew it was going to Ay, 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 ay,
stay. So it's going to be your new home from now till you put to bed. Thank you very much. Listen, I want you to free your mind. Hmm? Relax. It's your brother's house. If you need anything, just ask me. I'm going to provide it for you. Okay? It's brother. Which one? Listen. I wouldn't like you to continue crying over your condition. What has happened has happened. I want you to put it behind you and move on with your life. Hmm? Okay, brother. Biko, it's not the end of the world. Don't cry. Hmm? Yes, Don't cry in my house. Yes, you promise? I promise. <coughs> All right, come, let me show you to your room. Your life. You see it? I told you they will hunt you for the rest of your life. I told you. Who? Oh. Ibe's e family, of course. No, look, look, at, look at you. Look at you. It's not stop. Stop. <laughs> I'm actually on my way to your house. Eh? It's in my house. My own house. I hope I'm safe. Because I did not play any part in your crime move. Yeah. I'm, I'm not part of it. Of course you're safe. Better. Um, you see, I only want to tell you that my elder brother, the one in Lagos, uh -huh. has decided that I should come over and join him in Lagos. At least I can be helping him in his shop before the entire saga turns to something else. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Your brother said you should join him in Lagos. That is the perfect idea. Very fantastic. Because... At this point in time, that is the best thing you need. And I, I hope you're not thinking about it. So you're sh shaking as if you're not comfortable. Of course I am comfortable. But the answer is yes. There is no room for thinking. Uh, not only yours, yes. Sir. Not only yes. You need to do that as soon and fast as possible. Before this whole story turns into something else. Sure, I will. But, uh, you said you were going to my house. Uh, yes, uh, it's Luna. You know, I know you will always have something at home. That is why I was headed to your house. At least, even if it is Garina, we can sit down and drink together. I thought Adam, Adam is no more. How come you are you still acting like Adam and all of the old? I asked you a very simple question. You ask, ask me a different thing. I thought you said you were going to my house. You're talking about food. Anyway, whether you want food or not, I was heading to somewhere before you met me. But, Izuna, how are you sure that where you're heading to, we see food there? If you're going with me, maybe by the time we return, we'll talk about the kitchen. But for now, to where I'm going to. Are you going with me or not? Are you coming or not? Do I have an option? Let's, let's, let's go now.
money. So, would you use that money to get yourself whatever you need? Because I won't be coming home tonight. Why? Well, um, I'll be having a meeting with the owner of the hotel where I work. And the meeting will start by 8 p.m. Probably it won't end on time. Mm -hmm. um, so, only me stay in this big house? Uh, no. You have the right to go to the village mm -hmm. and gather all your friends. Mm -hmm. Bring them here to come and stay with you and keep you company. You know what? Well, if that is your problem, I will call Cynthia to come and keep you company. Mm -hmm. Hey, girlfriend. I have told you time with that number that she is not my girlfriend. So don't, don't, don't make me angry. But she loves you. Eh? Is that how you think? Like a foul? Because she loves me, she is now my girlfriend. Look up, girl. And listen, do not open this door for anybody. This is township. Talk of the devil. Good morning, Tom. Ah, Cynthia. How are you? Okay, I just go this food. This breakfast food. Breakfast? Yes. Why? I know we'll be hungry since your pregnancy is not so strong to make money. Thank you. Cynthia, I went. Can I ask you for a favor? Anything for you. Okay. Could you please come back tonight to stay with my sister? Like I said, be very careful. This is Tanshi. You said that she loves you. Or did she say anything for you? You are very stupid. Um, I will collect more in case of love potion. So I did not bring you out here this evening for this. I just brought you so that we can just chill out and relax. What is upsetting you? Tony is my father. What about your father? My father is very sick and needs a serious medical attention. Then take him to the hospital now. Tony, taking my father to the hospital is not my problem. My father has a lot of problems. Could you believe that he told me categorically that I should not visit home without a woman I want to marry? And I... There is no way I can go there. Because he might see me and, 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 and die. This is serious. This is very serious. Like, how much are we talking about here? Well... Everything about my marriage and um, my father's hospital bill will amount to nothing less than two million naira. Two million. Yes. So, what what do you intend to do, my brother? Nothing. I don't know what to do because right now I am very broke. I don't have cash. I just finished paying my younger brothers and school fees at Aesut and renewed my rent. So I, I don't have money now, Tony. I'm confused. How do I meet up with all this? What do I do? Kim, you see, I, I wish I could help. But meanwhile, what did they say is wrong with your father? He said he's a brain tumor. I mean, brain tumor that needs an urgent medical attention. I don't even have money to assist us. And I know you need money. What are we going to do?
Since you don't like me, why did you say it before your brother? Why do you allow it to come? Thank God you know I don't like you. No problem. And who told you I'm scared of staying in this house? If you want to go, the door is open, you can go. Chakwamaka. I cannot be well when Bruce Dickham called me to tell me that you're very sick. And I should come home and even spend the weekend with you. Sick? Yes, Papa. Me? But obviously, from the look of things, so you are very far from sickness. <laughs> uh, that's because I don't want to look sick. Ah, mm. This is strange. Um, go inside. There's food in the kitchen. Uh, my favorite. <laughs> papa de Papa. Whatever you see there. Okay. Hey. I observed you a couple of seconds ago. You don't look okay to me. What is the problem? I'm fine. I'm okay. See, Chief, what can actually make a man of your status and age to feel this way must be very serious. Like I said, I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Chief, I could be of help if you confide in me. I don't think you, you can't. Chief, remember that problem shared is half solved. I want to help. Well, if you insist, give me a call on Sunday. Let's have a meeting. All right. That will be okay. It's all right. Tell your brother to go and get married. Tell him that I'm giving him three months. I want to see my grandchildren before I go and join my wife in the grave. If not, one day you people will come back here and see my dead body. Papa, it hasn't got him to that. Three months. Tell him. Okay, Papa, I will tell him. Okay, 
him. Good morning. Ha. Cynthia, what are you doing here? I made this food for you. Huh? Why didn't you bring it inside? I can't. You know your sister hates me. She sees me as an intruder to her peace. That's why I stand out here to wait for you. <sighs> Cynthia. Now, Ujuma. Why is it that you don't like Cynthia? What has she done to you? Brother, I don't know, just that my spirit doesn't accept her. <laughs> Your spirit should better start accepting her. Because very soon, I am going to make her my wife. Brother, you're not serious. You heard me. Tony Tonero, my man. <laughs> How far that? Yeah. Business what? How? Okay, okay. Venue. Okay. I go show. I go show. Papa said though, he doesn't look sick, but he takes a lot of drugs and the doctor complained about his BP that is very low. Okay brother, don't think about it too. You know Papa can be very troublesome like his sister and fiesta. Okay brother, you need to do for me. Where you came? Is he came around? No, Kim is not around. I really hate 
Diske. She's too saucy. But no problem. I will deal with her. Foolish girl. Thank you so much for the Amuko. I don't know what I would have done without you. Okay, well, bye. Who was that? Ah, it's Aunt Esther. She says she has gotten to the village. Hey! Thank God. Oh. Hmm? After three months of headache in the name of Amuko. Baba, my brother, she tried for me now. Oh, I know. She tried for us. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you're going dressed like this. You see my friends. Yeah. That's something for me. Oh. Hey, baby. Oh.
Quoi dites donc pour ça uh, Though he said uh, he's strange, but he assured me that it is not blindness. What is it? Well, I don't know. He just gave me some drugs and said um, that she will be fine by tomorrow morning. Check on them tomorrow. Okay. In case the baby starts crying at night, just take the food in the finger bottle and give it to him. Oh, thank you so much. Hmm? Thank you for everything. I really appreciate. Hmm? You are a nice person. Ah. Did you want? How are you? Good morning. I still can't see. Everywhere is still dark. Uh, you want, don't you worry. Hmm? Don't bother yourself. Everything will be fine. The doctor said so. And he also said that um, it is as a result of too much blood you lost during your childbirth. Hmm? So don't, don't bother yourself. You'll be fine. Since then? <laughs> Uju, you'll be fine. Just give it time, okay? But are you sure? I am very sure. Hmm? This hope is not what I'm thinking. It is not what you are thinking, because I know what you are thinking. Hmm? I have to rush to the hospital now. The doctor told me to come back in the morning to collect your last drug. So relax, everything will be fine. And I have also sent for Cynthia to come and help you out in some house chores. Hmm? Yeah. Yes, Cynthia. Come and sit down. Ah, ah. Oh. Sit down. Oh. I'll be right back. been there watching me. I just came in. I came to bake the baby. Hi. Did I ask you to bake the baby? Eh? Can't you just mind your business, eh, Cynthia? People like you are in their husband's house minding their business. I'm a boy. Are you still here? Found my baby. <laughs> no. 
I just reported the case to the police. And they arrested Cynthia. They assured me that they will continue search tomorrow. And they will also announce it on television. So please, they will find your baby, I am sure. Hmm? Let it not be what I'm thinking. Oh, what are you thinking? A sister has sold my baby. <laughs> or oh, she killed my baby and threw him into the bush. <laughs> no. No. She used my baby for ritual. <laughs> Would you please stop? It's okay. The police assured me that they will find your baby. Hmm? Stop crying. It's okay. No? <laughs> Juma, stop crying. Eh? Stop all these tears. You know I hate to see you cry. Please. I have told you time without number that I will do everything within my disposal to make sure that your child is found. Eh? Please. It's okay. Stop crying. Please take me to the village. If I spend an extra day, this is all mad. Please take me to Papa and Auntie Esther, please. Okay. I will do that first thing tomorrow morning, okay? Please. Oh, please stop crying. It's okay. No, let me cry. No, no. Let me cry because the tears is too old. Let me cry it all. <laughs>
sister, are you crying? No, I, I am trying to clean the room for you. something for you to eat or when I come back. I'll get it. Why? Something is telling me that she's innocent. Because that very day the incident occurred, I noticed someone entered the room before her. How sure are you? I'm very sure. Because I felt the presence of a different being before since I entered. But so she didn't enter the this room. I insulted her with that and she got angry and left. Wait, wait. Are you saying that she is innocent? Although I hate her, I cannot stand this up to you. Iken, Baba, did you say the police have released the suspect? Yes, Baba. They said. Uh, don't have any evidence against her. Hmm. So, <laughs> the released her. A child who throws a stick at an old man, thinking that he is weak to retaliate, is making a big mistake. If the leopard had known that the sluggishness of a tiger was not a way of escape. It wouldn't have tampered with the tiger's territory. Papa, I have never seen you speak in this manner. That is because I have never felt the kind of pains I am feeling now. My daughter's tears has awoken the beast in me. And it will not rest until justice is done, even if 
I shed my last blood. Oh, you know when you tell Yahimi if you have to make on me with a cuckoo. A cuckoo if you water. When you don't drop a mad ram on the major, me. Is that all that brought you here? Yes. A man, a man, a major, me, what do you do him? On your dream, on me, do you know? It is only a madman that knows what he sees and understands that makes him talk to himself alone. A child that says that his mother would not sleep, the child should be ready to be awake. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I am sure. On your no one year has your hemi fat on the Omi we cuckoo. A cuckoo for water. On your dumb rock a madder arm on the major. You will get me two eggs, two red clothes, and two white cocks. And hairs from Ujumwa's head. Bring them here in the morning. I will bring them. Also, before you take anything in the morning, break a cola nut. Eat the father and throw the mother in your compound. Then bring me the rest. I understand. Has it gotten to the extent you now talk to yourself? Sister, you won't understand. The pains of my only daughter getting mysteriously blind is killing me. Ha! Huh? My dear brother, I understand. But who are we to question God? Let's wait for his miracle. Wait? Yes. Men like me don't wait for miracle. We go for miracle. Meaning? Meaning that I have the solution to my problems. Which is? Oto tu tu toji. Asi na chief oku ke nweji. O ma se bulu abro kwa na aje ebele. E hai na chuka ema, nke na achu anyi kan amaro. Ebo belu go belu nke si be ebe ne, nkoku aya. Eh? Aji he challenge no zo. Ai na galeru ya na ga na zo. Hm? Onye je lumba. Yeah, but you're not. And we're on Kanyima. And you're on Kanyima. And you're on Kanyima. 
we na kpoku zio sebe bo binigwe bia na eno ji ata na ogbe ka ita ni be ni be okonia Ibe, the road is very dark. I see people there, but I can't see anybody's face. What are we going to do about it? Does it mean you can't kill those people? Ibe, Ikumeku. The God of War and Justice. Ekumeku is also a merciful God. So you have to make the right choice now. Should I kill them? Or should I give them a lasting madness? Give them a long lasting punishment. Mammy! Whoever that has a hand in the disappearance of Ujumwa's child and her sudden blindness shall become mad. He or she shall remain mad till he brings back the baby, dead or alive. I have spoken. Hmm. It is done. Good, thank you. Thank you very much. In the next four market days, you shall see the results. Hmm. Ekuku, thank you. Oh, me, Ekuku. Ekuku, if you watch Hmm. Eh, no, 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 no,
Baba, there is no problem. I'm on, I know my ways. <laughs> hey! Uh, it's low. It's low. Uh, don't worry, okay? Hmm? I'll be coming from time to time to see you. Hmm? Anytime I have leave, I'll come and see you. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. I'll miss you too. You see, Kevo? Stay away from all those people. Stay away from them. It's okay. I see people there, but I can't see anybody's face. What are we going to do about it? Does it mean you can't kill those people? <sighs> yes.
ibe ikumeku is a god of war and justice ikumeku is also a merciful god so you have to make the right choice now should i kill them or should i give them a lasting madness speak um, give them a long lasting punishment Ori kori ko nyu ko nyu ko lo nyu ap to 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 ba I will make them mad Ekumeku Whoever that has a hand in the disappearance of Ujunwa's child and her sudden blind death shall become mad he or she shall remain mad till he brings back the baby, dead or alive. Papa and Auntie Esther that started it. Huh? Papa? Huh? Me? How? Nanya, when you have a Hanama, you go on the cup, my just had the car from. It all started after Tony's meeting with Chipago. Chief, as the doctors have said, you cannot have your own child. Why don't you go for adoption? You can adopt a child. Mr. Tony, right? Yes. You see, adoption would have been the best option. But my wife wouldn't hear any of that. You see, she's of the view that most of these children are adopted. You don't know their background. Huh? You don't know where they're coming from. And because of that, she wouldn't want to go into that. She says most of them came from, you know, parents that are criminals, prostitutes, drug addicts. And because of that, she wouldn't want to get involved with adoption. Look, it's a harrowing experience for me. You can imagine, at my height of wealth and social acclaim, I don't have a child. I don't have a male son. I don't have someone to continue my legacy. It's heartbreaking. Honestly, adoption would have been good. But in these circumstances, my wife doesn't want to think about it. You see, that is my problem. How can I get a mother to willingly give me a male child? I'm ready to invest any amount on this child. Chief, I really sympathize with you. But I assured you I was going to do something. 
I will see what I can do. Tony, if you can help me get a male child from a known background, I'm ready to invest any amount. Chief. Tony, two million. If you can help me get a male child. Chief, I don't have any child to give you. I am not promising you. I just said, give me some time. I will look into this. Tony, I'm ready to give you five million. Just get me a male child from a known background. Five million will be yours. Chief, Tony, how I wish I have a male child. It would have been easier for me to just carry him and give to you. But I don't. Five million naira is a big money. But my hands are tied. All I ask you to do is just give me some time. Let me look into this. Look, you have all the time you need. Do it for me, please. Ten million. I'm ready to give you ten million. Think about what ten million can do for you. In addition, I will give you a house and a car. <laughs> Honestly, I just... Give me a male child. From a good background, I'm ready to give you 10 million naira. Tony, please. Tony, please. Okay. Guy, think about this. This man is willing to pay 8 million naira for this. 8 million! Think about what 8 million naira can do for us. At least you know for sure that the calls from the village will end. The call from your dad and the call from your auntie will end. And for sure, you will go ahead and pay Cynthia's pride price. Come it's on. not enough reason, Tony! It's not enough reason! See, you came. This baby in question will definitely scare shooters away from your sister. And you to end up definitely going to be a burden to you and your family. Why don't you just give this baby away? Tony, I know that you are a fool. But I didn't know that your foolishness has gotten to this level. Ikim. Ikim, think about this. Oh. Think about this. It's for a better tomorrow. I'm telling you now, no, think about it too. Say 50 50. Are you the owner of the child? It's 50 40, I beg. Am I mad? She's not at home right now. Don't worry. When she returns, I will do the next one.
This is the direction to my house. Take it. Be very careful and fast. Because soon, my neighbors will go and bait the baby. Bro, listen. If you are caught, you are on your own. <laughs> you need to be very, very careful. Oga, don't worry yourself. You see this game? I'm a professional. So. I know why I'm saying this, oh. Because I don't want you to implicate me. You don't need to bother yourself. He came. Just calm down. There's no need for you to worry about anything now. This guy is a professional. He will handle this case very well and nobody will suspect us. Okay. So calm down. Okay? Yeah. Calm down. Well, if you say so, I believe what you can do. Tony. Tony. I don't understand again. Oh. My sister is blind, just like that. What is going on? Eh? What do you mean you don't know? Are you mad? Anyway, I am taking her to the village tomorrow. And when I return, Tony, when I return, you will have me to contend with. How am I the cause? Eh? Biko kwa, ne kwem. Ha! Auntie Esther, the pressure from you and Papa was too much for me to bear. And the quest to meet up with the family's uh, financial demands made me desperate for money. And again, I, I wanted to save you from the shame of single motherhood, which might result to her inability to find her husband. Stop! Yeah. All he said is true. Ibe, yeah? you have something to say. Me. No. Confess! Now! Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Or you forever remain dumb. Hey! Now! I, 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 I was not actually sick. Hey. But, but I, I, I thought that uh, pretending to be sick will uh, hasten the. the, the uh, hey! Papa! Hey! No wonder! Ibe. Hey! Ibe! Hey! You came here. You continue to be mad. Yeah? Until the baby is found. Hey! Us! And you will continue to be blind. Mba. Hey! Mba. One of them must be the pig. The heart of men is evil. Ronika, I thought you said you loved me. I'm your little sister. <laughs> but you looked me in the eyes and stabbed me at the back. so much like your mother, always sacrificing for others to be happy. 
food court place today you were about. Thank you, Papa. I am happy. I can see a smile on your face. Um, Papa, you speak in my way. Uh, no. Okay, let's wait till you wake up. Okay, my daughter. I... I remember something. The day my wife gave back to you. That morning, the sun was more golden than usual. I think that has to do with the character you were. Hmm. So, Brother Kenechuku, you see, I told him about the girl that is like someone who is tied up somewhere. I don't really understand what's going on. But then, after narrating the entire dream to him, he told me that I have to go back to my village and make peace with a certain family that I offended in the past. Well, if the pastor says so, you need to go and see the girl's family. Okay? Well, Brother Kenichiku, as you can see, as you and I know, I don't have any other option. As it stands right now, that is my only option, so I'll just have to do it. Yeah, you only okay. have to. Okay? Okay. Well, no problem. I'll, I'll see give up to you. Okay. Brother Kenichiku. <laughs> Papa. Aunt. I know. I've made people pass through a lot of pain and thorns. Uh, I'm so sorry. Sorry for all that I made people pass through. You see, I acted carnally. But thank God for today. I'm a changed person. Arrested by the Holy Spirit. And I've come to apologize for all that had happened in the past. And also to let you people know that I have my part in the Juma here. And also to beg you people to please allow me to take her as my wife. You have spoken like the true son of your father. It is true that uh, we went through hell. We will not pretend for the singular mistake which you made. It will be one. But that is all in the past now. If God wanted us to keep looking back all the time, He should have given us eyes behind our head. But He didn't. We have our eyes in front of us so that we can look towards the future where there is no regret. On my own part, I have forgiven you. Thank you, Papa. Fully and totally. Thank you. But this forgiveness is going to be on individual basis. Every man to himself. So I will ask. You can. Baba. Um. Chidiwem. You so. You are now a pastor. By the grace of God. Wonderful. Well, I'm forgiving you. Thank you. Yeah. My sister. Thank you. Like what my brother rightly said, 
So we welcome you to our family. Thank you. No, I forgive you. Mecca. Papa. It's not for one thing there. Mecca, I'm sorry. It's not for one thing, Papa. I forgive you. And now, um, what do you want? Papa. What is left? The rest on you. Do you still reaffirm your love for Chidubem? I still love him. Are you willing to marry him? Yes, Papa. Mm. No. Yeah. 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 Yeah.